What's going on guys? Patrick with Uncle Bill's Camping and today we're going to be talking about a new product from GSI. This is the GSI Coffee Rocket. We're going to make some coffee with this, see how it measures up. If this is something you're interested in, stick around for a little bit and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, so if you're still watching this video, then you must be interested in making some coffee and we're going to do just that in just a second. So, uh, you know, if you've done your research, you know, there are many different ways to make coffee out there and there's a lot of products that'll let you do it. A lot of it really drives from or people gravitate toward what they do at home and the, uh, the particular method that they like to use to make coffee. Um, some people prefer the uh, the Java or French press. That's what I like. I've been using the Java press for years by GSI, and I love it. Some people swear by the Aero press. Uh, I do not, but uh, you know, to each their own. Other people like using the percolator, making that good old cowboy coffee. Uh, some people just go with instant because they need a quick fix, and you know, I've I've seen people even put uh, you know uh, coffee in, inside of. Uh, nylons and just boil it in water. You know, it's everybody's got their own way. But what we have here is the drip style coffee maker by GSI. And we're going to take it downstairs. We're going to set everything up, make some coffee, see how it measures up. So we're downstairs and we have everything set up. But let's go over what you get when you purchase the coffee rocket. So first off, you have the instructions. And the instructions are in several languages and they're pretty much idiot proof. Tells you everything you need to do and it's laminated so if it gets wet it's not going to mess it up and that's uh, that's pretty nice. Now to the main components here, the coffee rocket itself, this is basically three components. You have uh, the base which has the three folding legs in the center hole area which uh, I'll tell you about in just a second. But that's going to fit nicely right on top of your cup and uh, the little ridges there it's not going to keep it from sliding around, but it is going to keep it from just sliding right off of the cup. I think, honestly, they could be a little bit deeper. The channels on these uh, would give just a little bit more reassurance, but I'm sure they're wider to accommodate cups with different lip sizes on them. Next, we have this, which is about the size of a K-cup, and might be a little bit hard to see, but it's actually screen uh, three screen areas here and you actually have a screen area on the bottom. Now this hole is not really a big deal because when you lock that into the base it's plugged so you don't have to worry about it going anywhere and it fits in there really snug so it's not like it's going to pop out and coffee grounds are going to get down inside of the cup. Next we have this is the water receptacle and this has a screen on the bottom also and what that does is it keeps anything from actually accidentally getting through here or coming up and back into uh, the water reservoir. You just put your coffee inside of here. Now it recommends one tablespoon but I'll probably use two just because I like my coffee to be a little bit stronger. I realize that'll probably add a little bit of time to it. I believe it's supposed to be able to make a cup of coffee in two minutes. I'm, I'm guessing probably about three minutes or so if I add an extra tablespoon. So we'll see how it works out. But the beauty of the whole thing is, you know, once you've made your coffee and uh, you break everything down and you, you clean your components, you know, you get your coffee grounds out and you rinse everything, you put it back together. You, know, you snap this piece right back on here and you put it inside that mug and you close the lid. And it fits down in there nice and snug. You know, obviously it's made for this cup or to work with a GSI mug. So it's going to fit perfectly in there. Now, normally I would use something like this uh, for camping or one with a couple of people because with this one, it's going to make a lot stronger coffee, but I can make it for more than uh, one person at once. So, but it does take up a lot of room. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to take something like this with me uh, when I'm hiking by myself when I could take something like this. But we'll move on to the next part of this and uh, make some coffee and we'll see how it turns out and see if this is something uh, that you might want to use for yourself when you go camping. Alright guys, so 
we're going to go ahead and uh, make some coffee with this. Now I'm going to do it a little bit differently than what the instructions say because to me six ounces of water, one tablespoon of coffee, it's not going to be very strong coffee. I like my coffee a little bit stronger. I feel like if I'm just doing a tablespoon of coffee, it's going to come out like a K-cup, which it's going to taste all right, but it's going to be a little bit watery. So I'm going to do two tablespoons and I'm going to fill it all the way up to eight ounces. So we'll go ahead and put this all together. We'll snap the filter down inside of it and uh, add a couple of scoops of coffee. Go ahead and put our uh, funnel thing on there, make sure everything's snug, and set it on the cup. Now I took it out of the insulated sleeve so we could see how much actually gets inside of there. And I also have our timer. So we will go ahead and uh, start the timer, let that run, and we'll go ahead and add water. Now, like I said, I'm going to fill this all the way up. to the top or at least to the eight ounce mark and it's filtering through pretty quick now i done this with one tablespoon and six ounces and it filtered through really fast like for the most part it was done filtering in just about a minute and i let it drip for about another 30 or 45 seconds so we'll see how this does with two tablespoons I have a feeling it's going to take a little bit longer, but uh, you know, even if it's like two, three minutes, if it's a nice strong coffee, I'm willing to wait for that. Go ahead and pull that off of there. All right, so about three minutes. And that looks like some nice dark coffee right there, which is uh, the way I like it. Uh, it's nice and strong, too. All right. We'll go ahead and wrap all this up and uh, finish this video out. So we just got done making coffee and we're going to go over some of the pros and cons. But first, I would just like to say that if you're going to use this system right here to make coffee, I would recommend instead of using the one tablespoon of coffee and six ounces of water, which is what is recommended, I would uh, I would go with two tablespoons at least and eight ounces of water. Uh, the reason being is to me at one tablespoon, it just doesn't seem like it's strong enough, kind of puts it in the, in the K cup area which you know for me is just kind of watery coffee it doesn't really do that much so you know that's my opinion take it for what it's worth all right so pros uh clean up this is about the only thing you're gonna have to clean up right here and it's as simple as just dumping out the coffee grounds giving it a good rinse shake off the excess water and uh, throw it all back together it packs down inside of itself so that's another pro and if you have a GSI mug, it's going to fit perfectly inside of it. And I suspect that it will fit in just about any of the, the name brand round coffee mugs or camping mugs. As uh, far as weight goes, 77 grams. So, you know, I'm not sure really where that really falls. Uh, for, for hikers, at least for myself, I know that's nothing. For ultralight guys, that could be like carrying around cinder block. I have no idea. But to me, it's pretty light. Another thing this has going for it is price. So I picked this up at REI and I don't think it was very expensive, somewhere around eight, I think it was $9 and some change after tax. So it's not a risky purchase whatsoever. You know, plus, you know, for right now at least, REI was about the only place I could find to pick it up. They have a pretty good return policy if you're not satisfied with the product or, you know, you could gift it to somebody, you know, whatever, but still nine bucks, you know, you're not taking any big chances there. Now, cons, and there's really only one to speak of, 
and uh, I say this just because I feel I wouldn't be doing this review justice if I didn't mention it. So, you know, as you've seen earlier when, we're when we were making the coffee, these legs fold out and it sits down on top of your coffee mug and it has these little grooves in it that kind of keep it from sliding off of the mug, which is fine. But the problem is, is that when this folds out, it doesn't lock in its furthermost position or outermost position. It, it kind of clicks in there loosely, but the problem is if you're not paying attention, it'll fold all the way back. And that can definitely be a problem. So the only reason I mention it is uh, just, to, just to put it out there so you can be cautious of if you do decide to use this, um, be careful because if one of the legs are tipped back too far, it might throw it off balance. You can burn yourself and, you know, getting a nasty burn when you're miles away from a trailhead or an aid station is no fun whatsoever. But with all that said, I think what it really boils down to is the type of coffee that you like to make or how you like to make your coffee. Uh, for me, I'm a French press guy. So uh, would I take this with me? If I was flying solo, probably. Two people? I am going to take my GSI Java Press. AeroPress guys probably are not going to dig this too much. But if you like drip style coffee or instant coffee, this might be more along your lines. You might enjoy this. But, you know, either way, it's still a good product. Um, it just boils down to how you like to make your coffee is whether you're going to enjoy this product or not. With all that being said, though, I'm Patrick from Uncle Bill's Camping. Thank you for taking the time to look at my video, and I will see you guys the next time around.